Formed in Lima, Ohio in 1998, the Orthopedic Institute of Ohio and the Institute for Orthopedic Surgery provide exemplary care for its growing number of patients in one convenient location. Staffed with 14 board-certified physicians and more than 200 healthcare professionals trained in the newest and most advanced techniques, this practice and state-of-the-art facility offer a multitude of choices in orthopedic care. Our mission at the Orthopedic Institute of Ohio has been to provide exceptional care for the musculoskeletal needs of our patients. The concept in establishing our practice is to combine a group of orthopedic specialists, each with unique talents and interests, who combine to create a comprehensive orthopedic surgery service. Our focus is to deliver this care in the most compassionate and efficient manner possible. Brad Dubois decided he'd been living with pain and weakness in his legs long enough. I experienced pain shooting down my legs from my belt line basically down to my feet and the pain got more intense. It was hard to sleep. I couldn't walk without help, say, in the grocery store with the help of a shopping cart. And I knew that I had to get uh, medical help. I was diagnosed with spondylolisthesis, scoliosis, and spinal stenosis. After I wasn't able to manage the pain with over-the-counter medication, I opted for surgery. To alleviate the pain, Brad turned to the Orthopedic Institute of Ohio. Dr. Frank Fumich correctly diagnosed his condition and performed this lumbar spine laminectomy on Brad's narrowing spine canal. Brad suffered from a case of lumbar spinal stenosis. Lumbar spinal stenosis is the aging change of the lumbar spine, producing a narrowing upon the nerve roots of the lumbar spine, which may produce symptoms of a hip, buttock, and or leg pain combined with weakness, numbness, or pain with exertion of the legs with walking. When non-operative options fail, a lumbar spine laminectomy with fusion is the best surgical option. A lumbar spine laminectomy provides the relief of neurologic compression, with a lumbar spine fusion providing stability to the unstable spinal segment with new bone growth across the unstable segment. A lumbar spine laminectomy is performed under a general anesthetic. This is done with exposure of the lumbar spine over the segments involved. A careful and gentle removal of overgrowth of bone and ligament is performed so that nerve elements of the lumbar spine are decompressed under direct visualization. A lumbar spine laminectomy is a very good option, but there are many avenues of treatment which may be pursued first. These include physical therapy and possibly epidural injections to relieve leg pain. Surgery is a very good option, but should be considered as the last option when considering treatment options. Degenerative spondylolisthesis is the condition of a malalignment of the lumbar spine segments due to an aging process and a loss of integrity of the joints maintaining normal spinal alignment. This may contribute to the exacerbation of lumbar spinal stenosis, possibly worsening the symptoms of lumbar spinal stenosis. A degenerative spondylolisthesis is often associated with lumbar spinal stenosis and the aggravation of the symptoms of spinal stenosis. Dr. Fumich and his colleagues perform many of their procedures here in the Institute for Orthopedic Surgery. Specifically designed for the comfort and care of patients, this spacious state-of-the-art facility provides the highest level of care in orthopedic surgery. Dr. Fumich performed my laminectomy in June of 08, and when I woke up out of the recovery room, I knew I was, I was fixed because the pain was completely gone. I had no more pain in my lower legs. I would definitely recommend the Orthopedic Institute and Dr. Fumich because I, for what he did with me was unbelievable and he got rid of all the excruciating pain I had. I can't say enough. The feedback from my patients who have received surgical treatment for the conditions of lumbar spinal stenosis and degenerative spondylolisthesis has been very gratifying. I've enjoyed watching people improve their levels of quality of life from a pain-free functional standpoint, being able to walk with less pain in their lives. The ability to walk without assistive devices and use less pain medication is a very rewarding process to watch. I was having hip pain and uh, was trying to figure out what it was and the doctors were too. They recommended uh, that I come here to the Orthopedic Institute. I had spinal stenosis. They determined that by the MRIs and then uh, Dr. Fumich uh, did the surgery. I got along well with the surgery, and uh, I'm doing well now after uh, four months. When Dr. Fumich got the MRI and the x-rays and everything from my back, he explained to me what I had, diagnosed it completely, and told me that this is what he was going to do as far as the process, and this is gonna be my restrictions after the surgery was done, but 
in, in his own words, he said, your pain will be gone, and it was. It's just great not to have pain shooting down your legs at any given time or twisting and pinching a nerve and, and falling like I did in the past. Our future plans as physicians at the Orthopedic Institute of Ohio is to remain at the forefront of orthopedic knowledge and technology. This will be done through continued physician education and training with the latest developments in all areas of orthopedic service. We are currently investigating the development of individual orthopedic specialty centers of excellence, including an orthopedic spine surgery center of excellence. Ten years ago, eight orthopedic physicians came together to unite to form an orthopedic center of excellence. This relationship and through the continued recruitment of the finest fellowship trained orthopedic surgeons has allowed us to provide excellent care and excellent outcomes to our patients. Through this growth and through the exponential growth of our practice, we look forward to the future of continuing to provide this service to our community and beyond. If you're hampered by the symptoms of spinal stenosis, contact the Orthopedic Institute of Ohio, your first choice in orthopedic and spine care. For more information, call the number on your screen or log on to orthoohio.com.